All right, welcome to part six of the lantern tutorial. And like I said before, we're going to start work on the roof. Um, I'm just going to kind of go with it. We'll see uh, what comes of it. So we're going to start off with a box. And we'll just make it right on. Oops, sorry. Uh, turn on auto grid so we can get it right on top. There we go. And just do 130 by 130 to start off with. I just want a consistent size. Go on top here and press 1 to enter your vertex sub object mode. And just line up all the sides. Alright. And line it up. And line it up. And I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, pinkish, so we're going to change the color to maybe blue. There we go. Um, let's see here. So now what we want to do is select this top polygon and go in front of you. Now, judging by this picture here, the height is not all that much. But it starts off flat, goes up, and then flat again. So we're going to have to what do we want to do? Let's actually delete this. Um, delete all these. Okay, so select all your edges, Control A, R, and then Shift Scale outward, like so. Okay. Now let's see here. It needs to go out about. Mm, this distance from here to here is there to there. Maybe a little more. Let's actually go out this distance. Let's go in your front and then with your verts selected you want these and these. You can scale them out like so and just kind of get them to match this distance. Maybe a little less, a little more, whatever you, whatever you feel is right. Okay, perspective. And there's what we have so far. Not looking bad. So next, we're going to have to go up with it. So let's just press W and shift drag. Oops, not those. Cancel. You want your edges here. So loop and shift drag up. Okay, not too much. Right about, call it there. Press R and go to your front and bring it out. We're trying to get a nice angle here. That's not looking too bad. Okay, next we're going to want to leave a little bit of space right here. This will be for the chamfers that are on in the mesh move. Alright, perspective. Press R and shift drag in. Now we're going to create the second tier. This is a little smaller, it looks like, in the center of the thing. So just go to top, and you can see about how big my square is. It's right inside the big lantern. Okay. And then press W. Let's bring it up a bit. Just a smidge. And then let's see how would this look. Bring it up again. about yay high, R, and come out with it. Actually, you know what? No, I bet this looks different. I bet it's like this. And then it comes out a little, and comes out again. Okay, and then goes up. So, then shift drag and let's drag it inward. And I'm betting that this top is actually a little bit raised, even though we can't see it from this angle. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to. 
Maybe not quite that much though. Maybe this much. Okay. So now we're left with this little square thing. And what we're going to do is... What are we going to do? We're going to somehow make this a circle looking object. So let's just cap this. So border and cap. Now uh, select this, and we're just going to start kind of going. I'm just going to try to make this bald right here on the top, this little thing. So bevel, and just start kind of modeling away here. I'm just kind of basing it off what I feel it would kind of look like. Okay, there we go. It's not bad looking. You can always uh, adjust it to whatever you want. And now let's try Mesh Smooth and see how terrible this looks. We'll give it two iterations, three. Okay, well, we're getting somewhere at least. So what we're going to do is select this edge, loop, this edge, loop, uh, this one and this one, loop, now chamfer it, and you want those, let me think about this for a second. We can't chamfer this top piece here or else it won't work. So delete those. We want generally hard corners here, so let's try this. And there we go. You know what? Maybe even harder corners than that. Go back here. Edge and chamfer. Let's make these even harder. There we go. Okay. Um, so next, let's solidify some more edges here. So select this, loop, and chamfer. Just give it a little chamfer there. And then select this right here. Uh, ring, connect, two, and kind of slide them outwards a bit. What this should be doing is solidifying that shape a bit more, so you can see this line right here on the bottom now. And let's see. I guess we'll do it with this too. Um. So select here, ring, connect, all right, and what do we have going on in here? Select these kind of two internal edges here, ring, connect, and do the same thing. Lastly, let's do ring, connect, and you have to that's interesting. Okay, let's see what that does. There we go. So now we kind of have nice uh, hard edges on all of our things. And we still have a nice bulb on top. And so there is that. I actually think I want to solidify these edges, maybe a little more. So, let's see how we're going to do this. Select here, uh, ring, and it should go all the way up to here, and it does good. Select, oops, 
Actually, let's just try it on one side. We're just going to connect with one. We'll give it zero pinch. Okay. And then see what that gives us. So now we have a nice hard edge. You can see the difference with this hard edge here and the soft edge. Actually, is that too hard? No, I like that better. Okay. So let's do that with the remaining sides here. So select an edge uh, right in there. Ring, connect. Okay. Next one. Click, ring, connect. And last one. Uh, if we can get it. Click, ring, connect. Go to mesh smooth. And there we have it. The top of our little tower thing. Now it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And I'm happy with it. So let me just figure out what material I've actually assigned. These are just materials I was playing around with. Um, hmm. I don't, I don't really know what I assigned to it. What is it, this? No, probably that. Okay. So, we've got that. And this is basically our main lantern. Uh, one of the things I noticed, though, was on the bottom here, this light, it's really strong right here but not so much on the other side, and it's really strong right here. So on the bottom, there must be a square, like where it can hold a candle, or a, you know, whatever it is. But there's a space where you can remove it to get it out. So what I'm kind of envisioning that is looking like is, let's just select a side here. Um, actually not like that. Something like this. We have space here and a space here, but something in here to hold it. So we're going to just model something really quick. Um, go to your bottom view. Make this an editable poly, just like always. And drag. Whoa. Oh, okay, there we go. That's interesting. Drag this to the edge, and then drag these to the edge. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, just to make it even, drag these up here, and then drag these down here. Okay, select everything, and then scale it in this way. It's just so we can get a good shape. Okay, let me just take a look here. So it's probably a little, a little bigger than that. So scale it in some more. All right. Uh, next, let's just uh, do our mesh smoothing. So, whoa, there it is. Select this. Connect to and slide it out. Okay, these connect and slide them out. Oops, not 100. 99. Okay, and then let's see. Select these. Surprised it didn't work. Maybe I screwed it up. Connect. Alright, and mesh smooth. and oops, we forgot a side let's actually isolate this selection so we can see it easier go to the front here uh, one, select uh, oops, these edges connect and bring it in and there we go perspective perfect, exit That'll be it for this part. I will see you in the next one.